In case you're wondering why I'm wearing a jacket, it's turning colder in England. Today is the official should I turn on the central heating day, even when it's not October yet. But to cheer us up, I've got a hot piece of news for LG 2019 and 2020 TV owners who are experiencing G-Sync problems with the NVIDIA RTX 3080 and 3090. So earlier this week, LG promised to issue a firmware update to fix the G-Sync incompatibility issues with the NVIDIA RTX 30 series graphics card on their 2019 and 2020 OLEDs. And lo and behold, today the company has sent word that the firmware update is now ready and available for affected owners of LG's 2019 OLEDs including the C9 and E9. Here is LG's statement in full. LG is aware of the HDMI 2.1 interoperability issues experienced by LG 2019-2020 TV customers with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series GPUs and is committed to resolving this issue with firmware updates very shortly. For LG 2019 TV owners unable to enable VRR gaming with RTX 30 series GPUs at any resolution, LG is making an early firmware update available directly to affected customers in the US and Europe. This update will enable FRL HDMI 2.1 capabilities with NVIDIA RTX 30 series GPUs, including VRR at 4K120 RGB. To receive this firmware update, affected LG 2019 TV customers should contact their local LG service center for detailed instructions. Important. As NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series GPUs are the only publicly available HDMI 2.1 source devices to date, only LG 2019 TV customers with these GPUs should update their firmware at this time. LG is committed to providing the best experience for our gaming customers. We thank our loyal customers for their patience and apologize for any inconveniences caused in introducing new HDMI 2.1 capabilities to LG 2019-2020 TV. Given that the NVIDIA RTX 30 series cards have only gone on sale last week, this must be a record for the shortest time taken from a bug being reported to a firmware fix being made available to the public, which strongly suggests that LG probably already knew about these incompatibility issues beforehand, but just couldn't fix them in time for the NVIDIA launch. Because LG specified that only owners of 2019 sets, for example the C9 and E9, should contact their local office for the firmware fix. It's likely that the root cause for the G-Sync or VRR incompatibility issues is different on the C9 from that on the C10 or CX. If you own a CX, don't worry, your firmware fix is just around the corner. As LG stated explicitly in its press statement, if you own a C9 or E9, you should only phone your local customer service line and request a firmware fix if you also own an NVIDIA RTX 3080 or 3090 and are experiencing issues with G-Sync or VRR. If you don't fall into this category, please don't clog up the phone line. This firmware is only intended to fix the G-Sync VRR blackouts, and who knows whether it'll affect anything else. Eventually, all owners will merge onto the same firmware version released OTA or on LG's website, like all rivers end up flowing into the ocean. With it being Friday and soon the weekend, we're not even sure you'll be able to get through to your local LG service center, so perhaps it's better to call next week. But if you manage to get your hands on the firmware, do let us know how you get on in the YouTube comment section below. Does it work? Now, thanks to NVIDIA who has been kind enough to loan me an RTX 3090 Founders Edition, I've built a PC to test a pre-release firmware for the CX and will publish a separate video documenting my findings if the firmware doesn't actually land first. Man, PC components are so expensive and confusing. Earlier this week, I was researching motherboards and it's not easy to work out what's the difference between a 200 pound motherboard versus a 400 pound motherboard versus a 700 pound one. For example, the Gigabyte Aorus Elite vs Master vs Ultra vs Extreme. Now I understand how hard it is for some of you guys to decide on which TV to buy. Maybe I should do more videos dispensing TV buying advice if there is enough interest. In the meantime, here are some of our videos covering Nvidia's RTX 30 series GPUs in the context of LG's HDMI 2.1 OLED TVs 
and I'll see you in the next video.